Hello guys, uh, this is my 78 Cutlass Supreme. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the dash panel to access the cluster or your light switch if you're doing some mods to it or replacing it. Tools you're going to need would be a Phillips screwdriver like that one and a bolt, oh sorry a socket size one by four something like that so first things first what you're gonna do is you're gonna go under the dash right here the two bolts here two bolts this side so you're just gonna remove it which we're gonna show you right here all right and then you're gonna try to remove this light switch knob so you're gonna you, you can see here's the letter space where you can put a very thin screwdriver something like this very thin one so once you put it in and you pull it towards there's a clip so you put it in pull it towards yourself and this will come free all right all right after that what you're gonna do is try to remove this trim and there's one more plastic piece which will come out which I already done so I'm just putting back everything to show you so try to put your hand in here to remove this if you cannot get your hand into it so what you can use is is a very thin scale or material like this where you can put it in and then just push it out pull it out it's uh, pretty easy it won't, it won't break just don't try to yank it up just put a constant pressure and it will come free all right and same with this thing so I just used my hand to go in here and I just pulled it out and it was pretty easy to it came out and once I took it out here was the switch attached for my defrogger so here was the clip for it so you just press it and you just take it out and then after that <coughs> you'll find two bolts right here you're gonna remove that with the 1x4 socket it's pretty easy to do that here and then the last one would be here so after that this panel will come loose and you can just keep that on the side all right and then what you're gonna do is you can so if you remove this screw you're gonna just remove the glass all right you're not gonna free the whole cluster the glass will come off if you're gonna remove this one if you're gonna remove this one the white ones where you see the white ones you're gonna remove the whole cluster but if you do the glass one where the black thing is the only glass will come loose so it depends what you're trying to do right and what I'm doing is today trying to remove this panel with these screws which I already loosen up to change my cluster lights which are really dim the original ones and new replacement LED lights which I'm gonna show you right now something like this I ordered off eBay $15 and I got 20 LEDs and yeah that's about it hope you guys find my video okay and um, if you have any other questions regarding about this car, I've done lots of stuff to it. Please shoot me a comment, ask me, and uh, I'll let you know how I did it. I installed parking sensors, I installed the steer system, I installed the alarm system, central locking, LEDs, outside new headlights with relays and yeah and just to know and just to let you know I'm, I'm 
on my floor shifter I'm putting a LED here too and it's pretty simple too you just put your hand here or right here and you just pull it out and it's pretty simple you'll find four bolts here and I think so those sides are 9 by 32 just open that and try to put your LED in there too and yeah that's about it and for the cluster panel you will be needing around 18 LEDs and if you if you want to put one more bulb in the in the wiper switch you need one more so maybe you will need around 20 LEDs to put everywhere in your cluster panel hope you guys find my video helpful let me know thanks